Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Anime Club. I'm Nick Knack, with me is the great Lord Horn. Hello. Realm Shifter. Hello, everybody. And Saki. Hi. This week, uh, Usagi Drop, or Bunny Drop. Yeah. So, I mean, this was my selection of anime. I, I had seen this on Crunchyroll, like, every so often, especially, like, way back when high school, but I just never got around to watching it. Uh, but today, we did, and... Honestly, at least for me, I did enjoy this one. It was wholesome and not creepy, and that was all I wanted out of the show. What? Yep. <laughs> so that was what. So that was what I got. It was. It's a. Uh, it's very kind of found family almost type show in a weird way, mm -hmm. but it's not as much. There's not as much hijinks or comedy. It's very much just slice of lifey. I almost compare this in a way to Spy Fam, except instead of focusing on more like the goal that they have with uh, like Anya and trying to get her to do her little thing with her mind reading and figure stuff out to try and infiltrate this mass murderer guy, uh, this is just like a day in the life of a parent essentially yeah. Yeah. except with that but mostly the good highlights and then not having to deal with like the the actual baby stages of parenting. Mm -hmm. So, so Ron, um, you I, no, no, I think I need to go first here. Yeah. You know oh. So I, I got a little bored. I don't blame. No, no, I don't. Oh, I got, no, 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 no. You didn't let me finish. Okay, you got. You bored. didn't let me finish. You got bored. I was a little bored in Greece. Oh, you were bored in Greece, and okay. I was interested okay. in this series because I thought the uh, anime was great. So I decided to read the manga. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, oh no! no. I... Oh no! I know. So, Realm, you were saying something about this being not creepy and very heartwarming. I very specifically meant only the anime. <laughs> I'm not talking uh, about the manga. Yeah, the way you said that, I think we were all unsure if you were talking about the anime. Like, or no, we were all unsure if you were aware of the manga. No, I had been made aware, thanks to this yeah. by, by Vorn, uh, that the manga in and of itself is goes in a completely <laughs> different direction. Wait, when did I tell you this? Which, I, which, I which by the way, thank you for the zero warning about that. Yeah, no, I I, I mean, uh, well, you were there when Vorn mentioned it. Yeah, I think it might have been me that mentioned it. Or maybe maybe it was you. Uh, I don't well, remember. I didn't remember that it was this show, and I could have used an extra warning. Y okay. I thought you were going to go for <laughs> I the think, okay. I was bored! And it wasn't like I could read Food Wars or fucking or, some of the other or, or, shit or, 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 or Naruto. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or, or Digimon, because I don't even think yeah, that Yeah, I was not going to read Digimon. Yeah. Um, okay, anyways, but I, I'm pretty sure, like, last, it was, like, before you were going to go on your trip to Greece, and we, and I, and I chose this, I think, uh, or that, actually, no, this came out of the hat. No, we did, yeah, we did not no, discuss oh, no, no, this no, one, it came out of the no, hat. No, no, oh, okay, this one came out of the hat, okay. Yeah. But I think, offhandedly, he might have just mentioned it briefly, but I, I remember it was Vorn, he mentioned something like, yeah, the manga goes in a completely different direction. Something I, I have no memory lines. of that happening. Mm -hmm. At least, if not born, maybe Nick Knack. Yeah. Uh, I have no, no memory of that happening before I went to Greece. Yeah, because I went down that rabbit hole before that it came out of that, so I wasn't done. Uh... Yeah. But Oops. luckily, and I'm only talking about the anime here, th uh, this is what I preferred it to have stated. Instead of going into the disaster piece that I understand it to be. Yeah. Uh, it covers volume one through four. Volume five is the time skip. Volume don't read. Volume five onwards doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, read that. Just, 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 just don't. Yeah, just, just don't. If you plan to read this, just, just it, one through four and nothing else. Just yeah. save yourself the trouble. Don't read it, watch the anime. <laughs> yeah, I got to volume it, six the and then I had to put it down. Yeah. Permanently. Yeah. It's like the best of Kanjo. I ain't reading that shit anymore. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, but I, I feel like I was adequately, multiple times, in excess, warned about domestic Nikana Joe. Okay, this one we, you were not warned for. I was not adequately made aware of what I needed to not do, and therefore I did what I needed to not do. Yeah. Look, that's because domestic Nikana Joe was my pick. Yeah. This is just like something I've passively, I've passively been like, wow, that ended up being a shit show. Respectfully, though, 
I was a little bit bored by the anime, and I was I had I also had kind of been hoping that the manga would be a little bit more interesting mm-hmm. because the the show is it's good it's fine, mm-hmm. but I think it just it was just a little bit boring to mm-hmm. watch. Yeah, I am actually uh. right there with you this time. Yeah, I didn't. I, I thought, like, there are parts where I was like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, there's, yeah. like, some cute yeah, moments. it's cute moments. Like, I, this wasn't, like, I wasn't expecting this show in the slightest to be filled with any kind mm-hmm. of, like, action-filled hijinks or anything yeah. like that. It, this it, was what I expected, and this is what I wanted, and this is what I got. It so. reminded me of Sweetness and Lightning, which is another, like, sort of feel-good father-daughter show. Yeah. Right? Wherein the, like, Sweetness and Lightning, I originally tried binging that show, and it was just too... Like, bo- like, it was a good show, and I really enjoyed it, but it was not sort of binge... It was the sort of thing where you watch, like, an episode a week at max. Like, it's not the sort of thing where I could watch more than one episode a day and still actively enjoy it. Because just not enough happens, and little enough happens that seeing it nothing happen so many times was unamusing in the mm-hmm. long run. Mm. Yeah, I can understand that, like... I, I know, Seki, you tend to be more favorable to slice of life shows than at least I the, do, too. The, than uh than Nick Nack is. So the fact that you're bored with this tells me that this just I mean, this obviously just wasn't your yeah. type of show. Like you know I love me some ESHK and there's nothing yeah. slower than a good ESHK. Yeah. <laughs> but this was just like <laughs> Sorry, Nick Nack's face yeah. when I said that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not wrong. That's yeah. the best way to describe a good ESGK. Yeah. Slow. Yeah. I mean, honestly, though, the thing is with the show is that it wasn't even, like, or at least the pacing of it, it wasn't even all that slow because, it, it like, at least when the characters do mention it um, from time to time, they do mention that, like, decent amounts of time, like, a couple months, even up to a year has passed, depending on what you're looking at, because you get, like, but- three months have passed... It's a year. Um, yeah, but slow doesn't necessarily yeah. refer to the progression of time inside of the mm-hmm. series, right? Because if it did, there's like, for example, like Naruto is slow as a fucking snail, <laughs> right? If you go by just progression mm. of episode to like day count, right? Right. This is this is slow in that it feels like every like the conflicts are relatively immaterial. Like they're cute moments, mm-hmm. but nothing's actually happening. Right. You know and what it, I mean? Like, it, we're seeing the person, we're seeing, like, her grow up, we're seeing mm-hmm. all of this stuff happen, but none of it, none of it's, like, exciting or, or fast-paced or, like, really interestingly impactful. Um, I think, for me, I was a little caught off guard by how quickly the they found the, the, uh, the girl's actual mother and how quickly that was kind of, I don't want to say resolved, but resolved. It wasn't really resolved, honestly, if we're looking yeah. at it from that kind of perspective. But, like, it, like that was arguably, like, the most over, like... It was very overly simplified, but I think a lot of this show is overly simplified as a whole. I'm not going to say that it's sit here and say that this show has its, doesn't have its faults. Like, for example, I mean, being an anime to begin with, it's literally just we're looking in at only the highlights and most of the time only the good moments. You do get, like, some kind of, like situationally scary moments maybe if you can consider them that like for example when uh the girl she got sick or whatever um she had her killed cold for like a couple days but you're never gonna get something like over the top with this Mm -hmm. kind of show because it's just meant to be that kind of slow paced slice of life show and i think that what's different between at least us right now is that i knew my expectations coming into the show and it base and the show basically delivered on what my expectations for the show already were, and so that's I can't think kind of where I at least I like the show enough for what it is versus what you guys may have expected from it. So, I think what separates this from most slice of life for me is this is the one that feels the most literal slice of life. Like every mm-hmm. episode, they're cutting out individual things that happen, individual moments like they're like ah, or could have been impactful as a parent. And that's what you're seeing. It's almost like going through a photo album in terms of its mm. present, in it, terms of its pacing. Yes, that's yeah. a good description of what this feels like you're watching through. Well, I don't think it's bad, by the way. Like, I think if I caught this in the middle, like if I'm like if I'm a Japanese uh, um, young adult watching anime in the middle of the night, 
uh, and there's two shows I want to be watching on either side, and this is in the middle. I wouldn't be mad this is in the middle. This is cute. It's a good little pace break. Yeah, right you just wouldn't want to watch 12 episodes of it directly in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. yeah. I mean, I, I, did, I did binge myself. I didn't have any issues with it, but I can understand why you probably wouldn't want to binge this necessarily. It's like something that you could definitely watch more episodically if you yeah. wanted to, because it didn't feel like you were missing a whole lot from episode to episode necessarily. Like, there might have been some carryover, but, you know, there was just kind of some things that also did just happen. I will say, uh, the art was beautiful for this. Like, the actual yeah. art. Well, I, but, okay, so I kind of expected that, right? So this is production IG. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, this came out, like, pretty, pretty, like, 2011, right? Yeah. Between 2009 and 2011, production IG released another series that I really enjoyed, Kimi ni Tadoke. I've talked to you about Kimi Needs a Doge before. I think we've even watched a couple of episodes, mm -hmm. at least you and I, Nicknack, either of the live action drama or the anime. It might have been the drama. Right? I think it might have been the drama, but there is an anime. And so Kimi Needs a Doge was produced around the same time, and Kimi Needs a Doge also is beautiful, in my opinion, just in the way it looks. Um, and so, like, also, the same studio did Prince of Tennis 2, like, literally the year after mm -hmm. this. And I'm like, I've seen all of those things, and, like, they're really good when it comes to, like, art and animation. You know, like, this is the same studio that did Ace of Diamond and Haikyuu. Um, they did, like, large portions of Ghost in the Shell and so on. Um, and so, you know, for me, I expected that. And it provided on what I expected. Like, I thought the art and animation was really good, especially for 2011. Mm -hmm. right? Because we've mm -hmm. seen other stuff yeah. from around that era that looked a whole lot worse than this. Kachawa <laughs> made some of um, <laughs> Yeah. You know, so, like, for me... 10 out of 10 on the sort of art. And the other thing is, Production IG, I've seen some of their more recent series, right? So, like, stuff that came out in the 2020s, like uh, Moriarty the Patriot, Kimi ni Tadoke just got a new season, which I got to see, Fina, Pirate Princess, all of those things, fucking great animation and art. Like, they have kept up and improved upon their quality. I expected that, and I was very happy to get that from Production IG here. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, animation was definitely a thing. It wasn't really a focus of the of the show for me. But it doesn't have to. It doesn't. Be. It doesn't yeah. have to be. Like it's still a great. It animation. enhances the overall experience. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if if it had looked like shit, it would have made it all that much worse to watch. Right. Yeah. If you didn't enjoy it or if you hated it. Mm -hmm. To go back on this, but I do wonder, uh, but we would actually feel like if uh, we were to watch this again when we're much more older and we all have kids. I do wonder. Well, I, I think, here's the thing. As, as someone with a lot of baby cousins who are much older than me, right? Like, I have a cousin who's 18 years mm. younger than me. Um, and I got assigned to babysit her a lot of the time, right? Um, and by babysitting, I mean, like, the baby gets dumped on me and then they, I get to give her back up at the end. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get paid for it <laughs> at all. It's not a paid position. Uh, nope. It's it's just expected of me. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, and and like as someone who's seen other shows similar to this, right? Because I've seen actually a fair amount of animes about taking care of toddlers and young children, especially slice of life shows like literally Sweetness and Lightning, mm. which I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. is another one. It's like father daughter sort of like taking care of her and all that stuff. Um, this is this is good. I mean, it's nice, mm -hmm. and there's a fair amount of those shows out there. And I mean, I guess yeah, you could say maybe you'd value it more if you were like in the same situation. But at the same time, I don't necessarily think that, like, to be honest, if you're if you have like a new toddler and you're a single mm -hmm. parent, you're not looking for anime to watch. No. To deal with your toddler, so you wouldn't really get a chance to see this until like much later. And I suppose maybe you could watch it and you might look back on it and be like, oh, that's funny, I, I had something similar happen. But that's true of pretty much all Slice of Life animes, is you can kind of pick out little moments and go, oh, <laughs> I was in a similar situation. You know what, I'm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I think this anime is it's actually more so for those who actually don't, maybe don't actively actually have kids and are more so, like, kind of looking, glimpsing to see what highlights it could be like as a parent and less so as like being an active parent because I oh, think an active oh, yes. parent the, would more so hold on let me finish yeah. an active parent would more so 
be interested, you know, in actually raising the current kids that they actually do, at least if we're talking about good parents, because mm. we know that not all parents might not be the best. So well, and I will say, it is it is Jose, right? right? So it yes. is, this is aimed towards, strangely enough, uh, young adult women. Right. This is not necessarily aimed to like all young adults, but it's it's Jose, so it runs for like young adult women is the target demographic. Mm -hmm. And I I think it's one of those things where like there's that joke that if you put like put like look at a twenty something year old woman, and if you put uh, a man in front of her who knows how to take care of kids and like take care of the house, she's gonna be like, (gasps) you know. I've never mm-hmm. heard that joke before. That's the well, first it's, time I've heard it. It's it's like a thing, right? Because women in their twenties want to settle down, but they want to settle down with a man who's emotionally mature and able to take care of kids and participate in the housework. They don't want to be forced to do all that themselves. So you know, if you show on screen a man who can do all of those things, he's way more attractive than an immature man who can't, but maybe looks better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I get, I get the principle. So there, there's like a sort of this is absolutely like a, a show that would appeal to like women in their like twenties to thirties, especially if they're looking to like potentially settle down, or they're certain that they do want kids, or they're looking for like a partner or something like that. Because this would be kind of like the ideal mm-hmm. partner to settle down with is like uh, somebody who took on raising a child as a single parent and is doing such a good job, like working through it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna file this one away in the proven and well-known uh, Japanese propaganda set called Baby Making Propaganda. Oh that, God, yeah. the fucking Shinzo Abe propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that, yeah, that that is the other thing you, you gotta think about culture, right? This this was made in Japan, and in Japan there is a pretty large propaganda focus on getting women in their in their early twenties to thirties to have kids because they're just not doing that and so their population is becoming increasingly filled with older and older people with less and less young people to take over those same workspaces and it's also causing problems with their economy because it fucks with their like healthcare system and and sort of all the money that goes into that and like there are active incentives in japan for young women to have children we don't have that here in the u.s right like i mean obviously we're having some of the same sort of top heavy loading on like people getting older staying alive longer yeah. less children being born but our government isn't necessarily actively incentivizing the birth of children no. like the way yeah. japan is so like you know in that sense also makes sense yeah and some of the ways to cover for that is like for immigration a lot yeah. of things so yeah 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 so that was that's kind of like the situation. So the show it makes sense as, from that kind of perspective. They kind of want to try and highlight. Oh, here's the here's all the positive things you can have by having you know kids of your own. That kind of thing. Kind of make yeah. it make it seem more appealing mm-hmm. and kind of focus mm-hmm. more so on those things rather than you know maybe some of the more in kind of consequential aspects of having children of your own. Yeah. We'll just cut so, out that time when you're a toddler through your. Binded collector's edition Lord of the Rings <laughs> coffee down the stairs. Right. Yeah. I'm not gonna name names, but someone I know did that. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Respect. <laughs> 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 I would just commit murder. Absol- absolutely. Like, Fuck. What? what? I have a jury duty summons that just arrived at my parents' place. <laughs> uh, great. For you? Yeah. Oh! Well, we'll see. Oh, oh, so did you actually get picked for it? No, I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. It's probably going to be for some time in the near future. Uh, yeah. oh. I'm still off the roster. <laughs> Thank gosh I'm still off as well. <laughs> I can't get selected because of my job. So that's what ended up happening with my jury duty. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Nick Nack doing his civil duties. Anyways, I think we should maybe move on to waifu wars. Uh, uh, is there really I have a waifu. I have a waifu. You know what? Yeah, okay. I do have a waifu. Well, yeah, the waifu wars. Waifu wars. Waifu wars. Born. Kenta's mom. Okay. Rel? Uh, I'm going to go with... Ah, shit, who was it again? I can't remember. It was the it was the good looking dad. I can't remember. There was like oh, one of the, one of the, that, the, the, the dad. dad. That, oh no, yeah, the dad that was a sorry, the dad that was a model. The dad who had like oh, modeled okay. before. All right. Yeah. 
the director of the anime who took one look at the source material and said, yeah, we're stopping at season one. We're never doing a season two. Yeah. <laughs> or this is a good standalone story. I appreciate it. We're not going further. Exactly. Uh, Sachiko. Sachiko. Thank you, G's mother. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. She seemed nice. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. It's understandable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I... You know what? I can I can give some recommendations if you're a particular fan of the sort of child raising feel good family sort of vibe. I think Sweetness and Lightning's a good option. I might watch that. I might watch that one after uh, this. Gaku and Babysitters or School Babysitters. <laughs> uh, actually, How to Keep a Mummy that has very oh, yeah. similar and very good vibes. That as one was well. so wholesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there's probably a couple more I'm not thinking of, but th- those are three very good ones with similar feel-good vibes, and none of them have creepy overtones in the manga. Yeah, that's all I really need. Something not creepy. Good. They are all sweet and wholesome. Yes. I'm as, gonna, as they should be. Yeah. I'm gonna walk right up to that low-hanging fruit and pick it. Spy X fan. Yes. Oh, yeah, mm. that's that's true. Yep. Maybe you like those creepy overtones. Domestic Nicomedia. No! 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 Stop your fucking... Why'd you have to go there? Seki, help me kick this man out of his own house. You you need to leave, (laughs) This 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 is an insult. (laughs) You guys are making me remember that anime with the baby whose father is the detective... Not detective, he's a police something. And the baby is, like, really amazing at playing daddy and, like, uh, building stuff. It's very, very weird. Mm. I'll show you guys the video later. Yeah, show me a clip later, because I can't think of this right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I actually forgot how old this anime was until yeah. I saw flip phone and cameras. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, technically, technically, flip phones are back. Yes. Yeah. They're back yeah. in fashion. Yeah, because now you get the folding screen phones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can have even bigger screens if you can fold it up. Yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. I can't wait for tablet sized screens that just like <gasps> no. slide in there. It. <laughs> <laughs> just it's the, a 30 just inch TV. It folds down to a 5x5 five five square in my Just pocket. a straight up transformer phone. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no. No. I mean, come on, break out the newspaper. It's your phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Respectfully, no. Uh, well, I think we've covered about as much as we really want to cover today. Yeah. So, next time we'll be back with something from my random... Digimon. Digital, digital Monsters, monsters digimon, digimon. Are the champions? champions. Change into <laughs> digital, digital champions. champions. To save the digital world. world.